Hi guys and welcome to another video. Like I said, this week it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to have a little talk, discussion to you about <clears throat> sorry, the new Morphtronic support that is coming out in the January set of the TCG, which is the Secrets of Evolution. I think that's what it's called. Don't quote me to that. Uh, but they're going to be getting new support. Hoping for a Synchro. Hoping for another good monster. And hoping for a good spell card. Because none of them really, none of the spells are really good, in my opinion. Except from like the junk box, which is not too bad. But, with Morphtronics, he's like the main, the main four that you see in every single Morphtronic deck. He's like the staple ones. Self one, you have to run. Special summons everything. Raiden, gives everything attack power. Scoping, allows you to summon a special summon a level four, instant rank, uh, instant level seven. Then boxing, Allows for like a, a proper OTK. And again, so does Borden, but I can't find Borden in the deck there. Um, with Morphtronics, they do well. They can do well. Like, well, now Soul Charge is at one. They'll, they'll do okay. But as long as you open up turn one, if you open up self one, and even if you do get your boom box, and you can special summon it in defense, and you can like negate an attack, or if it's a Borden, can't be destroyed in battle. So it does actually work really well. And, yeah, although they are machines, they are not meta whatsoever, they they can be. They can get off an, an OTK quite simply, eh, especially with Soul Charge. They would be able to get off the OTK, but they can't attack that turn, so it'd be like a TTK. But, with Mortronics, I think what they need is like another, they need like another two, three good monsters. Eh, I don't... I don't know like what exactly it would be, but it would be like, sort of like a wolf bark effect. Although, scoping is sort of like a wolf bark effect, but I think they should have one that, when you summon it, you can special summon a tuner from your graveyard or something like that, like a level three or lower morphtronic tuner from your graveyard. So it does sort of limit your plays, but if that monster's level four, you can instantly get into your main boss monster, Powerful Dragon, and I think that's I think that's what you sort of need. I think they also need like a level 4 tuner as well to be honest, because level 1 and level 3 tuners aren't really good to be honest, although it says like a level 4 tuner as well, I tried to because they're a camera, but that's level 4 as well in defence mode, but that's, you're never really going to have that out in defence unless you uh, bring it back with junk box. And that sort of brings me on to like my next point, like their spell support, they're, this is actually their spell support, and they have a field spell, but field spell isn't really necessary or needed. Uh, I feel like Morphtronic Accelerator is a good card, it's a good concept. But just when you're when you dead draw it, I only play one in the deck, but when you dead draw it, th that's exactly what it is. It's a dead draw, you can't do anything with it. Only times I find it useful is if, if I open with this to self on the machine duplication. And I'm just like, right, activate it, return self on, one of the self on. So now I've got two in the deck, for which it opens up my machine duplication, which means I get a pop of something, then I can summon out one self one machine, duplicate it, and get two more. So it sort of it, it clogs the hand, but also it can declog the hand. Junk box. Uh, right, okay, it's an amazing spell card. Like it's an iron call without the without the effect of its effects being negated. It's amazing like that. Right, so all your monsters will still open up with like plays. And I can't find any to hand now, right now, but the trap support that Morphtronics have. Yeah, Morphtronic Bind, okay, level 4 and lower, level 4 and higher monsters can't attack. We deal with ranks now, with Xyz, Xyz can just get over eh, like that boundary, if you will, aim of level level 4 or higher monsters. I think it should be like level slash rank 4 or higher monsters can't attack, but obviously they're not going to do that because that would be too much of a change I think. And they have that Morphtronic Force Field. Yes, it is a good card, but no one really plays it off to destroy. Although, you have the likes of Regeki and Dark Hole, but that isn't doing anything. No one really runs Dark Hole. Don't think anyone's going to run Regeki, to be honest. You might see it in your side deck, just in case, but, you know, that ain't happening. And it brings me on to the next thing. What, they, what Morphtronics really need, what people have been saying so long, is need a Synchro, other than... Power Tool Dragon to go into. Don't get me wrong, Power Tool Dragon, I love Power Tool Dragon because Power Tool Dragon is 
Power Tool Dragon. But Power Tool Dragon paired up with Life Stream. Life Stream Dragon, for one, is way too conditional to bring out. You need to have a Power Tool and a level 1 tuner. Although, more to honest, you do have Lantron and you can get out Power Tool quite simply. This is way too conditional. So if Alex Thief can now bring out a, a Morphtronic Pendulum monster, I will actually kill them because that is just going to be useless. In all honesty, unless it actually has like, a good monster effect, then I wouldn't actually use it for this Pendulum effect. But with like, power, what do they need is like a Morphtronic, I don't know, like a, I've seen like a few concepts of like, Morphtronic hair dryer, in. Like it's like a hair dryer, obviously. Which would be quite good if they actually had their own synchro. Or maybe their own XYZ. But mostly synchro. And it's like, don't know, but like hair dryer and there's a few of them be like, when this card is synchro summoned or special summoned, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. There you go. That would be a pretty good effect. And then it was like and then once per turn you can change the battle position of a Morphtronic monster you control, and if you do, special summon one from your graveyard with its effects negated. See, they need something that's actually worthwhile playing or running in the extra deck because Power Tool Dragon Yes, it's a good card. Yes, you can get the quick spell out. And yes, Mark Twain is about synchro summoning and mostly power tool dragoning. dragoning Not even a word, but still. They need something that's actually beneficial to the archetype. Well, actually, come to think of it, I think what they need is a searcher first off. Searcher, yeah. A searcher spell. Although the trap card, that Mark Twain force field, force field does kind of search. But they actually need like a proper spell card that says add one Morphtronic monster from your deck to your hand. And if Konami limits that, then I will hit them. Simple as. Because there isn't really many cards that, that support machines. Well, there isn't, like, there's cards to support machines, but there's not cards to actually like support machines in terms of add a machine type monster from your deck to your hand. Without some sort of effect of this monster is only... This monster can only be a... I don't know, what's a Karakuri monster? Whatever. There's nothing that's just a genetic thing for machines. Yeah, this is mostly revolving around a sort of a separate archetype. So with Morphtronics, they can synchro summon fairly simply. So like I feel like instead of having like just just Power Tool Dragon because that's like a level seven, they have like Power Tool Dragon. Can I make learn they can go into level fives, level sixes? Level 8's dead simply, so that they should bring up like a level 5, level 6, a level 8 and Morphtronic Synchro. But they'll never replace my Goyo Guardian, because Goyo Guardian, pretty good. Just say, Like, can I make you realise that they don't, they, they don't, or they can't just not go into like one set. Although, Scoping, Scoping Effect, Special Summon a level 4, makes an instant level 7. Carries to know that, you can, that sometimes people turn one self on, then turn t then sell and turn one. They can get a scoping effect out, and then they can get a rain, and they can synchro summon for level eight. You need to learn that. Konami. But hopefully, the support for the Morphtronics is actually quite good, and also hopefully they get good reprints in Legend Collection 05, or 04, whatever it is, 5Ds. That's what it is. It's 05. It's number 5. It's hopefully to get good reprints on that. And I'm really... Although there is a hollow for myself on, I want a cheaper hollow for myself on because they're like £10. I'm like, no. But I wish that they could actually make like a nice, decent hollow version of the deck. Although there is... I've got a German boom box in somewhere. Uh, there's a couple of German radians about. I, I don't want to play in German. Just to have a super rare card. I want to have an English super ultra... Secret, I dare say it. I don't want it to be secret, but secret. See, oh, secret self on would be nice actually. I'm just ranting now. Eh, uh, yeah. So, Morphronics, I love them. They're still my favorite deck. Hopefully, Crystal Beast still get them next. Fingers crossed. That I think that's like Crystal Beast is like the only deck that everyone wants to get support for because Crystal Beasts are fucking awesome. Um, and, and they they need they need some support. They need their a good boss monster that's not in Rainbow Dragon. See, two decks I play revolve around like one dragon card, although it's machine. I don't care. 
So guys, hope you liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. That's 10 minutes long of me just talking. Yeah, I'm sorry for you. Bye.